Hvad siger vi? Vi ser tiden. Jeg kommer og henter os. Det burde være lige om lidt. Hvornår det skal være? Vi, vi er sgu klar. Jeg tager lige en flere klistermærker, det er helt rigtigt. Der er flere ude i kufferten. Det skal bare lige sige til, at vi skal gå ned til at få købet en eller anden udtryk. Jeg kan se noget kufferten. Her kommer her, sauna-singer. We are sauna singer from Aarhus, and uh, my name is Johan, and I pl play the guitar. My name is Jacob, and I play uh, keyboard and bass. My name is Anders, and I play the drums. Our music is pop and uh, punk. Very fast, and it's Danish. Jeg er faktisk ret nervøs, når det kommer til, sådan, når man lige tænker på spot. Fordi det virker som en ret stor mulighed for os som bane, sådan at, at lige kunne komme videre med vores ting og sådan få et større publikum og snakke med nogen, som, som har nogle forbindelser og som kan, kan ligesom hjælpe en. Jeg mødte Sauna Sina fra from a, a competition that I helped run. That turned into a collaboration in producing their first EP. For Sound Singer to be on Spot Festival is, is first of all, it's a, it's a stamp of approval. The Spot Festival is also known as a showcase festival, where we present a number of names for a public, which consists of ordinary concert hungers, publikummer, men også en stor del af delegeret fra musikbranchen, både i ind- og udland. Vi arbejder jo rigtig meget på at, at facilitere mødet mellem musikerne og deres bagland, og det de nu skal bruge i deres karriere for at fremme deres karriere. Anders er altid, øh, han er altid mega meget øh, krudt i røven, og sådan, øh, der, der er fucking meget gang i altid Anders. Altid syg meget energi, han ja, altid ja. virkelig meget. Der er også mange publikum, der tit øh, siger, at det er sjovt at bare kigge på Anders, når vi spiller, mm. fordi at yeah. han bare ser så kæmpe ud, og sådan så <laughs> hele tiden. I've been playing music most of my life. I started when I was 12 or 14. Uh, started with the electrical bass and uh, later on I finally got the chance to play the drums and I've been doing that for six, five years, five years, along with this, uh, producing electronic music. På grund af han lavede så meget elektronisk musik der, så havde han super meget forståelse for alle inddelinger af trommer og hvordan de skulle gøre os rigtigt og yeah. så han vidste det som hvad han ville på trommerne. Han skulle bare lige overføre det til hænderne yeah, yeah. i starten. Men han kan godt nogle gange være lidt imod at spille sådan. Lidt for simple ting. Skal vi altså lidt kedeligt? Ja. Eller lidt pøllet? Eller? Ja. ja, fordi han arbejder så meget med trommer normalt i, på ja. computer, sådan, så, så bliver det kedeligt for ham. Johan han er forsanger ja. og guitarist i bandet. Men han har en meget sådan krøllet hjerne, Johan, og kommer ja. tit med nogle ret grinerende idéer. Ja. Øh, og nogle grinerende ja. idéer til musikvideoer også nogle gange, som Måske altså er lidt for wack nogle gange. Ja. Han virker lidt som sådan en øh, typisk øh, forsker nogle gange, der er sådan lidt på en eller anden måde lidt blæst, men også ja. øh, mega skarp. Ja. Han er også meget idemager på sådan de overordnede sådan, temaer. Ja. Så han, han kommer tit med skeletter, mm. til, og han har også tit en vision til, hvordan sådan, sangen overordnet skal være. Han har en eller anden klar idé i hvert fald, han kommer med til at starte med. Og hvis det går med ham, så, så rammer det, rammer det savnet senere på en eller anden måde. Jamen Jakob, han spiller keyboard og bass. 
og han øh, har sådan en kæmpe keyboard sat op kørende. Jeg tror, han spiller på fire forskellige på én ja. gang. Men han har kun to hænder. Han maler mange af... Han, han udfylder rigtig godt det canvas, som mig og Johan ligesom ligger op. Hans håndværk fra klassisk med ind i, øh, ja. ind i det, vi laver. Vi så kan mm. han køre nogle vilde skalaer rigtig hurtigt og ja. lave nogle sjove ting. på Testrup, og øh, ja, så begyndte vi bare, mig og Anders boede på værelse sammen, men mm. så øh, begyndte vi at snakke lidt med Johan. Ja, vi var ja. på musiklinjen ja. sammen. Ja. ja, så havde vi gang i, Torbjørn havde gang i et projekt, hvor det var, at, øh, det gav mening, at vi spillede sammen. Og så sad vi og brainstormede en masse navn, øh, under en, måske en forelæsning, som var ikke lige fanget os 100%. Mm. Øh, og så, øh, så tænkte vi bare på den tid, vi havde herinde, fordi det var ligesom her, vores, hvad skal man sige, vores venskab blev øh, ekstra, ekstra tæt. Mm. Fordi vi kunne alle sammen godt kunne lide at sidde og lide herinde i saunaen. Ja. Det var her, saunascenen har startet, men på samme tid er det jo også noget, der er blevet sagt så mange gange, samme navn igen og igen og igen, at det bare, som om navnet havde forsvundet hen i sådan en silhuet af, hvad det egentlig var, det handlede om ja. i første omgang. Mm. Så det er I hvert fald kommet et andet sted hen. Ja. Navnet er mere os, end det er mere en sauna. Jeg tror for drengene, så er øh, det deres måde at kunne udtrykke deres vildere side på. Øh, og ja, det er umiddelbart nogle ret stille drenge, når man møder dem til at starte med. Den modsætning, de har brug for at møde, det er øh, simpelthen i musik. strength of sauna scene is that they all know each other well, they're very chill together, they're good at making decisions, they still have their different opinions, but they, it's a very harmonious uh, relationship and they're kind of open for different things. Like now, now we're doing this bowling concert. Um, for sauna scene, I do lots of stuff. <laughs> uh, I'm the manager. I chose to work uh, with sauna scene because it's a really like creative way to be an artist manager. For instance, in this case with the bowling tour, this was a, a shot at trying to uh, creating a gimmick, a special aesthetic, a special vibe that hopefully the audience will will pick up on and think like, okay, cool. Now we can go to a sauna scene concert and expect something weird, something different. So I think the energy of sauna scene is um, a bit chaotic, very fun. I like the diversity in it and the immediate energy and then also that energy there with, with full hammer på. Uh, and a lyd man ikke hører særligt tit mere. It's very spontaneous. Or I don't know, it's like uh, bubbly. It it's it shifts from one point they're kind of very like slow and chill and mellow and like ah oh, yeah, we figured out it's cool. And then the other point, they're like at the stage. Da, 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 da. Så det kræver 
Vores musik den er, den er meget lejende og meget øh, sådan eksperimenterende på en eller anden meget sådan naiv måde. Lidt eventyrlig på en eller anden måde. Og, ja, det er sådan virkelig, på en eller anden måde er det sådan lidt nogle gange et børneunivers, sådan, øh, blandet lidt med sådan noget øh, teenage-ungdom. Uh, naiv and innocent and, uh, and, and very explosive. Like make a song, it's it's not very like a that's not a like a cookbook on how to do it the right way. Sometimes I've got this like sentence in my head that just sounded nice. I just had to get my phone to get it down. I remember I got this sentence that that uh, at sometimes I made a meat sauce that was very bad, and I just thought that the the way to like her for leden var mit liv som en indetine kødsovs. Like the indetine kødsovs. I, th I thought it was just like a, a, a funny way to express something. This one is also like a good good uh, vinyl. It's more like it reminds me of all the dansk top music in Denmark and we like to listen to a lot of this stuff because it's uh, it's like funny in a way. This one, it's built from like a kit you can buy online. It's like 60 euros, and then I painted myself and put in some new uh, pickups. But it's not like this one, which is a real, like a Squire, Fender Squire. I think when when we knew we got, were gonna play at Spotfest, or it was like we really have to pack practice and yeah. uh, like just the thought about. Playing at spot could make you nervous, but now it's just like, yeah, we're just gonna do it. Like. Mm -hmm. I thought I was gonna be more uh, nervous, actually. I'm really yeah. hype, hype, hype to play right yeah. now. It doesn't feel like, even though it's the biggest show, it doesn't feel feels like a big deal because it's just like another show. Yeah, it's just another one. All new bands are all first timers. Uh, have to go through the application. Uh, there was one of the jury members that really liked them and the others were like mm, we think they're cool but maybe not ready or maybe next year but there was this one jury member who really talked their case. He argued that they really had something going especially on the live part of things and that the performance would be able to sort of take it to whatever next level that was. Oh. <laughs> a little armband, a little bracelet, wrist, 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 Og øh, det er sådan lidt svært helt at sætte ord på, sådan, på deres lyd, øh, for det er både en blanding af postpunk og pop, og det er både virkelig hurtigt tempo og drømmende. Men øh, de kommer her, savner senere.
the biggest show as yeah. spot for us. We just took one more step into being an established artist, mm -hmm. I think. If you look now from above, yeah. in the big picture, it has only gone one way, and that's to the top. And we have bigger plans in the, in the making now, YouTube spot, I think. Uh, we actually have one song that started to be in rotation on Ah, yes. the sex uh, beat. Probably thanks to Spot yeah. and yeah. the great reviews. Our concert at the Rada at the Spot 
we uh, got a pretty good uh, review from uh, Gaffa, one of the biggest music yeah. magazines in Denmark. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Five stars, and they said uh, the concert peaked all the way through. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe the, the greatest, yeah, mm. uh, greatest <coughs> thing that happened yeah. Yeah, at Spot, yeah. it was uh, the review. It feels like a checkpoint. Yeah. In five years, Sauna Singer probably will be nationally known in Denmark. That's yeah. what we hope. And we, we hope to be a live band who uh, yes. delivers a funny and uh, different concert. Yeah, yeah. tip-top party band. And we hope to like start a new kind of uh, generation of music that yeah. do the same as we do. Yeah, this vibe. And the same vibe in a way. People are so serious. Mm. And it's about fun and party. We will never break up because we are a, a little family. Yes. Yes. We have been living together also. Yeah, yeah they, we have. We are a little family. Yeah. <laughs> it's the sound scene of family. Yeah. <laughs>